Hey everybody, we are at Victoria Falls and we had to show you around a little bit. This is my husband Andrew. Hi. We are sitting, this is us sitting, in Zimbabwe, just northeast of South Africa and that is Victoria Falls and that land above it is Zambia. And the river that feeds Victoria Falls is called the Zambezi River. And it feeds Victoria Falls, which drops down into this gorge that continues and continues as the Zambezi River. The Zambezi is fed by the Congo all the way up in Angola and further north, but it becomes the Zambezi and stays the Zambezi all the way through Namibia, Botswana, and, and Zambia. Um, I had Andrew help me with this video because he looked up a bunch of stuff about Victoria Falls. So, Andrew, what can you... What can you tell us it's, about Victoria Falls while we're looking at it? Hopefully the mist isn't too bad. It's <laughs> like it's raining from below here because of all the spray <laughs> from the falls. But, so you think of a waterfall happening because there's a mountain, but that's not what's happening here. There was an ancient lake that was on a basalt plateau and over time it eroded to the point where this entire river, the length of the river, falls off a cliff essentially now. So it's, it's a mile of river falling off a cliff. And you're looking at, what, 30% of it? Oh, you, you, <laughs> if that. 20% because we can't so, show you the whole thing because it takes 15 minutes to mile, traverse it's, the whole thing. It's a mile long. It's, it's 5,600 feet long. Let me show you around so, a little more. Keep with going, that, Andrew. It's not the longest waterfall in the world or the tallest, but by sheer volume of water going over it, it is the largest waterfall on the planet. It's awesome. It's so awesome. As you can tell, we're pretty stoked. I had to wear my wish gear, too, to rep Wish TV. We've had some people, people look at me as we walked by and like, Where's your camera guy? Where's, the, where's your camera guy? I'm like, he's right here. <laughs> I'm, I'm my camera guy. I am. What else can you tell us, Andrew? What else? How, um, who discovered Victoria Falls? Well. I mean, it, it was known to the native it's people a for question. a long time. <laughs> there, it was listed on maps from Portuguese explorers and missionaries in the 1600s. But a British guy named David Livingstone is the guy who's was, credited. Is he Dutch or British? He's Brit Queen Victoria. Oh, that's right, because he named yeah. it after his queen. So David Livingstone is, is the British guy who gets credit. And so there's a city called Livingstone here. There's a statue of him upriver. Um, he's, a, he's an important dude. And so then they thought it was so cool they built a, a railway going through here. So there's a bridge you'll see in a little bit. Yeah. We'll post some pictures. And then they established the Victoria Falls Hotel in 1905 for people to come see it. So when you come to Africa, it's very, it's African. You know what I mean? Like it's rainforest and and roaming cattle and zebra and elephants and you know, all that you would expect to see <laughs> out of the Lion King, um, but there's, this was settled, the w first white people here, you know, the settlers, the white settlers here were the Dutch and the British. And so there's a whole like colonial British feel to a lot of the resorts and the hotels and stuff. Lots of, ugh, just gotta keep looking at the calls, not us. Um, lots of white gauze curtains and chessboards and goblets of, crystal goblets of water. And you know, it's just, it's, it's very, five-star Brit. <laughs> they serve tea. They love, you know, they, they have um, chips instead of french fries and crisps instead of potato chips. So it's an interesting mix of cultures too. And then you go to um, an Africa, a full African dinner and it's like an African luau with African dancers and they're dressed up and there's the Sulu people and then the Belly people and the Indubushi people. And um, crocodile. And, and crocodile. You eat crocodile and, and impala and, and yeah, polo worms. Uh, it's just, it's been a full experience, but one of the main reasons we came to Zimbabwe, as I've told you guys, is my dad's from here, not this particular city, he's from the capital city of Harare, um, a, good, a good six hours from here. But this is just such a huge, incredible landmark, uh, one of the natural wonders of the world, and we just had to see it in person. And it just thunders behind you, you just, you just really sit and marvel. The first time I ever saw it, five years ago, I looked at it and you just saw something like this, like just a few waterfalls. And I thought, gosh, that's amazing. So wonderful. And then I leaned forward and I looked out and saw that it goes on through the canyon for a mile and thought, wow, God is good. 
it's incredible. It's just, it's just amazing. So anyway, we're getting to five minutes, so I'm gonna let you guys go, but this was our, the best view we could find of the falls. And again, you see that rock, it just drops off from there. So we are rather precariously sitting on a sign that says, don't cross. <laughs> we can see, don't cross this place. <laughs> Um, this is Africa. But TIA, baby, this is Africa. <laughs>